Hello, my name is Mitch Travis. I'm the kit product manager for Cub Crafters and also one of the people that do R&D here in the factory. So I'd like to talk a minute about how Cub Crafters came about. My boss started this company 30 years ago because he loved Piper Cubs. And it started out as a rebuild factory and has has grown to a actual aircraft factory. We're the second company in the state of Washington that has a type certificate and a production certificate. Because this, this company started as a small company and was a family group when it started, we've been able to maintain the family in this company. So what that gives us is the people that work here are very passionate about the things they do at Cub Crafters. We're in the weld shop right now and I'm going to show you a couple examples of the end of this century technology we're using on the Carbon Cub. One of the things we're doing is we're uh, using an A-axis and a CNC mill to cut all of our tubing. So what this means is you get a very tight fit when you bring together the tubes to be welded. Out in the world, you guys will never see this, but at least you'll know that when we cut a tube, it's cut to fit tight to the next tube. We lay it in the fixture, everything gets fit up tight and then welded. Gives you a stronger fuselage. And you can see the cut is just gorgeous. All the different areas that this is going to need to fit in different tubes. The other piece of technology that we're using is called flow drilling. That's where we take a carbide bit, and the only way we can do this is because we're cutting them on the A-axis in the CNC mill, we can bring this carbide bit down that's been pre-programmed to spin on the top of the tube until it gets that tube red hot, and then it, it slowly plunges it down into the tube. So what you get is you get a perfectly formed hole in a structural tube that takes away all of the areas for stress in the tube and once it's filled with a screw it's as strong as the tube ever was. So these are just two of the many many um, advances we've made in building a, our carbon cub over the old super cub. Right now we're in our CNC machine shop this is where we do all of our computerized machining. I talked to one of the machinists once and he said, you know at Cub Crafters we make a lot of chips. And I asked him, I said, what do you mean we make a lot of chips? And so he brought me over to this machine and he went like this. He said, we make a lot of chips. Which means we'll take a part that, that could be left on the airplane in a bar shape and we actually go in and machine the, the material out of the part. This allows it to be quite a bit lighter without sacrificing any of the strength of the part. That means you get a lightweight part and you get a um, really strong part. Unfo well, fortunately or unfortunately for Cub Crafters, it means it costs us a lot more money. Everything has more machine time. But for the weight savings is worth it. One of the other things that you're going to see on every single Cub Crafters part that comes through the factory is an inspection stamp right here. When we went to the FAA and said we want to build light sport aircraft in our production facility, they said we don't have any problem with that. The only thing is you have to treat this aircraft and the parts that go on it just like you would a certified aircraft. For everybody out there that are flying light sport aircraft, this should make a huge difference to you. Okay, this is really a neat situation because we actually have our certified top cub over here on the left and a carbon cub SS fuselage on the right. We're in the pre-cover area right now. One of the neat things that Cub Crafters did is we took this proven aircraft, the super cub, top cub, and we kept the same shape only we improved it in many areas. We've taken the longerons from 
the bottom longer on to the top longer on and we widen it clear to the top of the fuselage where the top cub and super cub have the lower longer on and the upper longer ons right in the middle of the fuselage so anytime you have a bigger triangle section you have a stronger fuselage you have a stronger fuselage so when the piper built the super cub it's plenty strong it's just that we've made it stronger we've made it lighter we've made it stronger we're bonding the stringers to the fuselage something that when Piper designed that they didn't have the adhesives to allow us to bond it and hold it as good as as a tab you can see on the Piper fuselage that this structure all above the, lo the longeron is what we call gingerbread here there's no structural value to it at all so we've also opened the widened the door opening 11 inches over the super cub that allows bigger guys like me to get in and out of the airplane easily um, all of our stringers are carbon fiber uh, our seat base is carbon fiber our baggage is carbon fiber on the carbon cub top cub you have wood brackets welded in it's just a stronger lighter fuselage much better for the the public I guess when I give tours here I tell people that we've actually taken the Super Cub and brought it into this century so that's a neat thing what you just saw was nose ribs being pulled out of the heat treat oven and quenched so with material this thin you have a very small window so you saw him pull it out and and drop it into the the quenching tank so right now this aluminum is starting to harden on us in 72 hours this is going to be hardened up to where it's unworkable so he's going to start pressing these with a 350 ton hydroform press. One of the things we've done is with our ribs, we've taken a material that's half as thick as the, the ribs we use on the top cub. And with heat treating technology and hydroform technology, we've increased the strength about half, as get, half again. So you get a better, stronger rib that's lighter weight, and aircraft grade material. One of the things we do at Cub Crafters in our cover department, we use the poly fiber system. It's been a proven system for a very long time. And when we started with our top cub, our certified aircraft, we went to the FAA and we said, we want to modify the, the uh, polyfiber system. So the FAA approved us to modify the polyfiber system on our top cubs and at that point we just transferred that to our carbon cub and our sport cub. Uh, one of the things we did when I actually asked the question of the owner, how well do you want them sealed? And he said he told me that he wanted this airplane built so that it'll last 25 years because it'll be maybe 25 years before people take the cover off the airplane. So what we've done is we've powder coated the fuselage, we add the polyfiber system to it, and then we add a automotive paint to it. What, ha what the difference is with the automotive paint that we put on the airplane, it has UV inhibitor in it where the aircraft paints don't. So we've actually taken this airplane and for a ab fabric airplane, this airplane should sit on, be able to sit out in the sunshine for 25 years before you need to recover it, which is, is so much better than it used to be. Okay, here we are in front of a brand new Carbon Cub SS. This aircraft has just been test flown. What we do is we after all the quality inspections are done, certifications done, our test pilot takes it up, he flies it. He actually 
probably has the most fun out of anybody in the company. He takes these brand new airplanes out, makes sure they fly level, does all the testing with them, and then he comes back and he, if he squawks it, we'll tune it, fine tune it so it flies perfectly when it goes out the door, and then we'll get a, uh, a marketing person comes back, they go through the airplane with a fine tooth comb, anything that's not up to perfect standards uh, will uh, make that perfect. So that when the customer gets this airplane, he gets the air, he gets a brand new airplane and you know pretty much the airplane of his dreams. And when you get the aircraft of your dreams, then your adventure will start and you'll have a great time in this aircraft.